His intervention on the Woolfort's behalf is no exception. In exchange for their livelihoods, Serenoa and his entourage must transport Sorsley's illicit salts across their borders. With no pride left to bolster them, they have little choice but to obey. Preparations for the journey are a somber affair. The cart's ready, my lord. As are the disguises. None will suspect us to be aught but common merchants. Good. Then let us prepare for our departure. Oh, just look at what we've been reduced to. Skullduggery and deceit. Whatever honor we had is losing its luster by the day. Sun's a harsh mistress, ain't she? If she sticks around much longer, my fields are apt to wither from the attention. I'd give my firstborn for a drop of rain. Aye, and it ain't just the crops what are worse for wear. I'd cry over our lot, but not but dust would pour from my eyes. How pitiless the caprices of nature. What grudge do the heavens bear to make the poor souls who tend the land suffer so? I would be remiss to let such suffering continue. If fate will show you no mercy, then I shall. You begged for even a single drop of rain. I shall give you more. Behold as I flood this desiccated land with nourishment. Huh? What's that the lady said? I believe she means to pull rain from a cloudless sky. Ha! I'd have more luck getting milk from a bull. You must tell me if you do. We're in sore need of a miracle. A pleasure is always to see you, my lord. You've come just in time. This lass is about to put on a show. I am called Dizana. Allow me to banish the sun's cruel rays from your domain, that your people may see a measure of succor. Banish the sun? I wasn't aware it was in the habit of taking orders. Will slap my ass like I was just born. Rain! Honest to goodness, rain! How did... I... I've never witnessed a miracle like this. Zana, was it? On behalf of my people, allow me to express to you my deepest gratitude. There is no need for such formalities. I seek only to alleviate the suffering of the downtrodden in any way I can. If it is not too bold of me to ask, do you have need of a humble shaman within your ranks? Tales of House Wolfort's magnanimity have reached even my remote village. It would be an honor to serve you, my lord. We would welcome you with open arms, and the honor would be entirely ours. Doubtless, we will have occasion to call upon your talents sooner rather than later.
got you right in my sights. There are too many of the Minister Archibald. And flee we must. I'll hold him here, but you lock. Retreat. Minister Archibald! No. This cannot be how it ends. My lungs yet draw breath. My heart yet beats. This place shall not be my grave. So the cycle of war and chaos begins anew. And once again, I must take up my bow. I've been watching you fight from afar. And I like what I see. Almost reminds me of myself in my younger days. You flatter me. Still, I doubt you'll emerge victorious. Without me on your side, that is. The name's Archibald. Allow me into your ranks, and you'll see. I can match men half my age, shot for shot. I couldn't ask one so elderly to risk his life in battle. This Greybeard survived the Salt Iron War with naught but the bow in his back, I'll have you know. And my aim is just as sharp now as it was then. I haven't many years left, lad. And I'd like to spend them fighting for a just cause. If that is what you wish, then I shall not refuse. We welcome your bow. By the goddess. If it isn't my savior, I am truly in your debt. I remember you. I treated you at the ministry that day. I feared it was the end, but thanks to you, I yet live. I was not alone in treating you. And I am happy to see you well. I hear tell the infirmary was overwhelmed that day. How fortunate the other man was a uh, Rosellen. Never have I felt more blessed to belong to the goddess's flock. Praise be the goddess. May her blessings rain upon you. I do not mean to pry, but was that... Yes. It is he who survived, at the expense of the Rosellan man's life. Had we treated the Rosellan first, we might have saved them both. But I could not find the courage to disobey orders. And, in the eyes of the faithful, you acted in accordance with the goddess's teachings. Denying medical treatment to non-believers is certainly one way for the Holy One to breed loyalty amongst Hyzant's subjects. Uh, be that as it may, if only I'd had the courage of my convictions. The courage to give both their lives equal weight. It is hard for one drop to alter the current. So it is. Nevertheless, I wish to try.
Everyone has boarded the cart, my lord. We await your orders. We cannot use the main road. This journey will not be an easy one. I suspect not. Minister Sorcelay's instructions were clear. We are to secure a new route through our domain that will not draw unwanted attention. We've drawn up a rough map. It passes through uncharted wilderness and treacherous mountains. Places which no common travelers would dare traverse. My scouts have also reported rumors that the area is inhabited by bandits and beasts alike. To make no mention of the dismal weather on the horizon. Regardless, we must depart. We have an appointment to keep after all. So, I am queen. What should I do? You should listen to the Archduke and obey. Is that all the Archduke wants? An obedient wife? And here I thought the Esfrosti valued freedom. So long as you must look to others, you do not deserve freedom. <gasps> freedom is a privilege, and only those with the strength to see their will realized are deserving of it. It is not given, it is taken. And it is not often taken easily. This I know. I see. Thank you. Next time you think to ask that question, answer it yourself. Brother, father, look over me until I find the strength I require. What is Gustadolf thinking to marry a sniveling brat? No glory is worth her dismal company. It is unacceptable. He should have let me deal with those obstinate boars in Glenbrook. <laughs> Under the cover of rainfall, House Wolfort leads a cart full of salt northward through the treacherous mountain passes where few dare to tread. However, the rain quickly turns from help to hindrance as it batters down on the riders, making the ground treacherous and the path ahead clouded in mist. The party stops to wait out the weather and determine their next course of action. Consider it done. Please, leave everything to me. I will end this. For victory! Here I come. Try this. From where shall we strike? Death from above. You won't beat me. Push on through. To work. 
Might use this. Looks like I'm up. Let me show you what I've learned. Stay right, oh no! My time is now. I won't lose! Yes! Your orders? Victory you left yourself reach. open! Suffer! The hunt is on! Let's go then! Gotcha! No need to panic. It's nothing personal. Allow me. Stay right there. Very well. From where shall we strike? I've been waiting for this! My turn. Charge! We doing this? Gotcha! 